little fix here. Uh, a very quick one. So I was going through my comments uh, about the BMW high pressure fuel pump. Uh, yeah, and now I just received another comment from another user uh, to ask me a question about the pump. Right. So I just want to clarify here something. If you remove the high pressure fuel pump, please don't rotate the, the crank. Don't do that. Because you will do that. You will, you will misalign the crank. You will, you will mess around with the chain. The chain can jump and stuff like that. Don't do it. So if you take the high pressure fuel pump, don't touch the crank anymore. Leave the crank there till you align the shaft from the new pump in and put a bolt. And then yes, you can retake the, the crank. Don't do if out the pump in. You can mess around with the timing, you can do lots of damage to the engine. So I see I probably got 11 or 12 comments about that. So it's better I do a video and then explain. Um, this is, this is a quite hard job to do, so please don't retake, do, retake the crank. So I, I think I, I did say this on the videos, and I have to watch them again. But please don't do that. So if you remove the pump, don't touch the crank at all. Don't turn it. Even don't try to start the engine or rotate the engine if the starter. Don't do that. Okay? So put the pump first, put the bolt in untied, then would rotate the, the crank. Another thing is, some of the people say after installing the pump, they cannot get uh, pressure on a rail. Okay, so it's two things for this. So number one, you need to prime the system a lot. I know some of you probably did, but you need to you need to prime probably let's say I would say five six times, and just make sure. Or if you can just press play on a Adelphi program or whatever program you're using, BMW or Snap on whatever, just press uh, to um, ah Jesus Christ I just forget another word to prime the system. Yeah, so just press the the button and let the system prime maybe for one minute. Let it go, let it go, and wait for a minute at least, then stop. So what you have to do is, you have to try to start the car. If the car don't will start, here is the trick I did. It's in my video, so if you watch the videos, you will pay attention to what is in there. So even if the BMW 1 series, I did have the, this problem, yeah, of starting, but it did start eventually. What I do all the time is, to take the air out of the system, I undo one injector nut. Only one injector enough. Then you crank the car and you will see fuel come out from there. If you not, if you try three or four times cranking and nothing come out from the rail, try again, prime the system. Get the computer, prime the system and then try again. If, when you see a diesel come out from the top of the injector, stop cranking or get somebody else to help you when you're cranking. Uh, when you see fuel, stop cranking type the nut and then start the car and you will see the car will start perfect. The other problem is if you want to start the car and the car don't start and you try this all procedures what I'm telling you now, you probably have issues with the injectors. So you have to see the, the bleed pipes, the return, the fuel return pipes from the injectors. If it's the fuel coming out from there, if it's coming out from there quite a lot, so you have an injector open. So it means it's open circuit inside so the fuel goes straight away to the return pipe so you need to check the injectors as well uh, this can be why if the pump if you change the pump if it's metal fillings on it it probably is inside the injectors you need to open the injectors and clean them uh, again if you're not comfortable to do this job and it's difficult for you to do just get a, gar a garage to do or you can contact me i can help you if you live locally so i can help you repair your car but please don't don't crank the car if out the pump on it it will damage the engine, the engine has to come off and we have to be work on with the new chain and stuff like that and that will be a pain, so don't do that. If you need my help, so I will leave my, my details here uh, on the bottom, my contact details, so you got the email and also you got my number. So if you need something in the cars, you can give me a text, avoid call because I don't answer calls often, so because I'm busy I'm doing something, I never answer the phone. So leave me a message and then I can text you straight away. I keep track on YouTube all the time if people send me a message, uh, like this guy just did now, and I reply to him straight away. But if I don't reply to you on Facebook, you can use these uh, two details in here, the email and the phone, and you can contact me and then I can help you, okay? So again, please don't crank the engine if the pump out. If you do that, it will damage the engine. 
So that's not worth it. You pay lots later, thousands of pounds to repair the engine. It's better you do everything. Follow my videos. I got two videos about BMWs, one three series or four series, whatever it is, and one one series. They are exactly the same procedure. Watch their calf carefully, like put them playing on the TV, grab a popcorn or grab a pizza, whatever, but watch them to from the beginning to the end. Then you will see how I did the procedure. Because if you will follow the way the way I did, you don't will damage your car. Your car will be running like a nut, smooth. But if you try to skip things and you cannot align something and you rotate the engine to align, that's a no-no. Okay? So be careful, don't do that. So stay tuned for more videos.